Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys, DOLBOBS here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the underglow in Rocket League. Now, this is for PC users only. Yes, we are going to be using mods, um, which are very easy to set up. The easiest mods you could ever think of setting up, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So guys, we're going to be using Bax mod on PC, which most of you guys already know about, but if you don't, it's basically an application on Rocket League where you can bring it up and there's a bunch of stuff you can do with it, but one of the main things is changing the items on your car. Only you can see it, other people can't, so it's there's no cheating or anything like that, it's just a cool little mod. Now, if you want to download Baxmod and you haven't already, it's very simple. Go to Baxmod.com, click download now, and it's a very easy setup, you'll get sorted there. Now, what you can do then is download this thing called Alpha Console Plugin. Now, a lot of you guys might have known about Alpha Console. It used to be very similar to Baxmod. Well, Alpha Console actually stopped uh, running recently. However, they have been making a plugin for Baxmod so we can get some of the old features and some new ones at that. So, go to the link in the description to get to the uh, page or just search baxplugins.com and find the Alpha Console Plugin. Now, when you're here, just click Install with Baxmod and it will download it. It will give you some instructions there. It's very, very quick and simple. And next time you load up Rocket League, load up Baxmod as well. And if you press F2, you get the Baxmod menu. Now, Baxmod is classic Baxmod. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about that. But if you go to the end and click Plugins, you'll see now you should have one that says Alpha Console. Click Toggle Alpha Console menu and it will pop up. Or you can simply press F5 on your keyboard and it should bring up the Alpha Console plugin. This is what it looks like. Now, the first time you load up Alpha Console plugin, um, here at the bottom where it says Underglow, it might say um, we're trying to download Underglow. Uh, if this is the first time you open Rocket League, just reopen it. Simple as that, just close Rocket League, reopen it, and then all of the settings should be there. So now basically what you have is your own little Alpha Console menu. Every time you press F5, you can bring it up. It's very simple. So now the way that you can use this is really up to you. You've got a bunch of different things here that I'll leave you guys to have a look around with. But we're going to be looking at Underglow right now. So simply click Enable Underglow and these two colours here, originally this will be blue, are the colours for your blue or your orange team, what colour the glow will be. Now if I click Enable, you'll see nothing tends to happen. That's because your car needs to refresh. So I just click something like Garage, refreshes my car, and you guys can see it now has Underglow. Now on the Octane, this looks really cool, um, and I'll show you what it looks like in-game. But there's a few different settings you can do with this. You can use the car primary color, so you don't have to keep changing it. It will just kind of match your car design. Like here, it goes blue for me, but because my car's primary color is quite a dark color, it doesn't look that good on the menu screen. However, if we jump into a game, it will look awesome, trust me. But I'm going to go and use my custom colors. And also what you can do here is change the brightness. So if we, uh, let's see, let's go back to what it looks like when it's on 10. It looks like this. On 20, you can see it looks a lot brighter. In fact, it starts lighting up above the car. It's that bright. But this is all just in the menu. Let's see what it looks like in an actual game. I'm going to set it back to 10 and we can go and have a look. So... I'm going to go into a private match because if I go into free play, it will make it white instead of the actual car colors because obviously in free play, your car does go to a, a standard white and black color. So I've chosen Urban Central, obviously, because it's quite a dark map, but it really doesn't matter what map you're on. Look how cool this is. Now, this, is, it looks like a spotlight is on you. It literally looks like there's a camera with a light on or something for the uh, the big Rocket League tournament that's following you around and you're in the spotlight. Do what you please because all the cameras are on you. It looks like that, basically. But now I'm going to show you some of the things. So let's reduce the brightness down and let's see if, uh, if I change team, refresh my car, you'll see. There, it reduces the brightness. So I feel like this looks nice. It's a little underglow. Uh, when you flip your car, you can see it looks quite nice on the Octane here. Um, not too much because obviously if I set it to 20 Well, you can just see a massive circle underneath my car. I mean it doesn't look bad for sure It looks it looks freaking awesome, but it might not be what you guys all are looking for 
But there you have it guys, Underglow on Rocket League, do what you want, you can make some cool car designs with this. Well, you can't make the cool car designs with it, you can just make them a heck of a lot cooler. So if you guys are using this Underglow, let me know how you think it is, what's your favourite car design to use with it. But that's it for the video guys, have fun using this Alpha Console plugin on Baxmod. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, I'll be sure to answer them. And I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.